hey everyone welcome back to my channel dental cafe so today we are going to discuss about the implant abutment how to select implant abutment what is the length of the implant abutment and which implant is good for the anterior region and which is good for the posterior region of the jaw okay then let's begin the video first of all what is abutment so look at the video this is we have a implant as we all know in my previous video i have already discussed about the implant so if you want to know about the implant you can watch you can watch the video i'll share the link so this is we have a implant and this is we have a abutment this is a cement retained abutment i'll tell you in the later video what is cement retained abutment what is a screw retained abutment what is abutment actually so as you can see in the figure it is a connecting piece that joins the processes to the implant it means it is a part that joins the processes that joins or connects the crown to the implant means crown is connected to the implant with the help of abutment so it is a connecting piece as you can see in the video abutment is tightened to the implant with the help of abutment screw see now it's become a single piece implant abutment it become a single piece and i think now it's clear it is a connecting link between the prosthesis and the implant and then over the abutment prosthesis is given as you can see we have a screw retain prosthesis upper part is the crown part or the prosthesis part and the lower part is a abutment the screw retain prosthesis that is why abutment is a part of prosthesis we'll make it by casting the abutment in cement retain prosthesis abutment is not a part of prosthesis first of all we'll screw the abutment and then we'll cement the processes over the abutment but in see uh, screw retain abutment and uh, prosthesis are a single unit they are not different i will show you in this in this video how we will screw the screw retain prosthesis first of all we'll unscrew the cement uh, unscrew the prefabricated abutment and then now we'll screw the uh, screw retain processes over the implant now you can very well see abutment is in between the implant and the prosthesis it means it is a connecting link between the prosthesis and the implant so definition is very well clear now we'll move on what is the parts of the abutment look at the video we have a this is we have a abutment this is a prefabricated abutment now in this abutment we have a screw as you can see in the video with the help of this screw it is connected to the implant and as we know this is a prefabricated abutment or a cement retained abutment so prosthesis is cemented over this abutment with the help of a screw it is tightened up over the implant and with the help of cement prosthesis is cemented over this abutment so look at the figure we have an implant fixture and then we have an abutment which is connected to the implant with the help of abutment screw and over which prosthesis or crown is cemented or screwed what is abutment length so its length should be ranges from 1 to 10 mm i'll tell you how you will select the abutment length and how you will select the type of abutment so the length should be ranges from 1 to 10 mm depending upon the site depending upon the condition as i told you abutment length should be somewhere between 1 to 10 mm not more than 10 mm all these readings are according to the carl mesh according to the book of implant that is mesh how to select the abutment size which size abutment is given how you will select that 
सो सपोज इम्प्लांट इज प्लेस इन द सॉकेट ओके दिस इज जस्ट फॉर अ डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन सो हाउ विल मेजर द डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम द इम्प्लांट टू द ऑक्लूजन विद द हेल्प ऑफ डिवाइडर मेजर द वर्टिकल डिस्टेंस बिटवीन फिक्शर बेस ऑफ द इम्प्लांट एंड द अपोजिंग डेंटेशन एज यू कैन सी इन द वीडियो एंड देन चेक विद द हेल्प ऑफ स्टेनलेस स्टील स्केल वॉट इज द एक्चुअल लेंथ एज यू कैन सी इन दिस वीडियो दिस इज रफली सेवन एम एम सो वी हैव अ सेवन एम एम स्पेस बिटवीन द अपोजिंग डेंटेशन एंड द इम्प्लांट फिक्शर एट लीस्ट देयर शुड बी अ फोर एम एम स्पेस फॉर गिविन अ प्रोसेस इन केस ऑफ इम्प्लांट नॉट लेस देन दैट यू कैन सी इन दिस फिगर विल मेजर विद द हेल्प ऑफ डिवाइडर वर्टिकल डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द इम्प्लांट फिक्शर बेस एंड द अपोजिंग डेंटेशन and it should not be less than 4 mm it if, if it is less than 4 mm then there is a overloading of the implant there is a chances of screw loosening screw breaking uh decementation of prosthesis so it should be should be at least 4 mm we can also select abutment based on the aesthetic requirement in the area being restored so based on the aesthetic requirements if we are giving in the anterior region then we will prefer a cement retained prosthesis or a prefabricated abutment if we are giving in a posterior region we can give either cement retained or the screw retained prosthesis or we can say we can give either custom abutment or the prefabricated abutment what is the reason behind this so because in uh, custom made abutment the access hole for the screw is visible but in the cement retain there is no screw hole is visible so that is why uh, it uh, cement retain or prefabricated abutment is preferred in anterior region and the screw retained or the cement retain both can be preferred in the posterior region aesthetically prefabricated abutment or cement retain processes is more aesthetic than the screw retain processes In the next part we will discuss about the custom made abutment prefabricated abutment and what is the difference between these two abutments and wall abutment and don't forget to like share and subscribe my youtube channel and hit the bell icon for the latest update